What's up everybody, this is Garrett. I run American Muscle HD on Instagram and behind me is the all new 2019 Hellcat Red Eye that Dodge so graciously gave me for a week as a T&E vehicle. <laughs> I've had it for about four days now. I got it on Monday, it's Thursday, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. Getting into it, one of the big things that differentiates this car from the regular Hellcat are these two functional hood scoops. They feed right into the engine bay, feeding right into the, the air intake right here over this right, right nostril, and it helps keep that supercharger, 2.7 liter supercharger from the Demon pretty cool. Um, we're gonna go and we're gonna pop the hood real quick and so I can show you guys how functional the, the scoops are. The engine in the, in the Hellcat Red Eye is more or less a detuned Demon. It shares the same supercharger that the Demon comes with. It's the 2.7 liter blower. Uh, it puts out 14 and a half pounds of boost and it makes 797 horsepower and 707 foot pounds of torque, which is shy of the Demon, which was 840 and more than the regular Hellcat, which was 707. So you have that kind of love child between the two models. This was the you know middle ground that Dodge gave us to have more than the Hellcat, but somewhat of what the Demon was. That you know just fills a little bit of a void in where, in where they had with their models. You can see that they made a cutout in the hood where that hood scoop actually comes through and feeds air directly into the air intake that goes into the supercharger. Also the thing is that the, like both the Hellcat and the Demon had were the, were the functional vents that came through the, the middle lights on the grill that also fed air into the engine to help keep things cool. They made sure that this engine was gonna stay cool while you're drag racing, while you're getting rowdy on the street or whatever have you. Getting to the side profile of the car, we see that the, we see the wide body kit that they offer on this car. The other car that they offer this on is the regular Hellcat and, this, and the all new wide body Scat Pack. I personally think that the, the wide body on this car makes this car so much more tough and more mean just looking coming down the road. Apparently they make a, a normal sized Hellcat Red Eye on 275 tires and personally I don't see how that would work. This car has 305 square Pirelli P0s on it and I mean it fights for traction with 305s. I can't imagine 275s on this car, especially in the back. Uh, looking at these brakes. We have 15.4 inch rotors with six piston Brembo calipers and I'll tell you what, these brakes are very precise. They're not really bitey when you're just cruising around and you have to slowly let, like, push on the brakes to come to a stop in, a, in, a, um, in you know, just regular traffic. They, they're not real bitey, they don't you know, jerk you around but when you really have to hit these brakes, the car is gonna stop. So the brakes are a major factor in this car when, you, you know, when you're going fast, you're on the track. And then we look at this logo that is specific to this car. You can see the jewel right here in the Hellcat's eye, which differentiates it from the regular Hellcat, making it the Hellcat Red Eye. So that's a nice little touch. There's a few other logos and emblems on this car that have that. One is on the supercharger, and the other one is on the passenger side air vent. So just before we pulled it into the shop, we were outside, out in front of the shop, and we were doing one heck of a burnout. <laughs> We got permission from Dodge, so don't don't trip. We were safe. But check out how sticky these Pirelli P0s got. They are full of everything that was on the road, but they still got so much life left in them. Uh, and I didn't, it wasn't a weak burnout. It was pretty in depth. You'll see that later in the video. But what I was also want to talk about in the rear of the car that makes this car different is the spoiler. On the regular SRTs, the Hellcats, and then you also can get it, I think, on the, the Scat Packs. This spoiler is a lot different. The original spoilers kind of went straight up. It also had SRT written or had a badge of SRT right here. This one, it's more like elongated. It kind of comes out more and has a slight swoop. So it's kind of almost like a drag wing a little bit to help, I assume, with aero and downforce for this car. And I think it just looks really good. And you have, of course, you have your backup camera right here. But everything else in the rear of this car is, you know, typical Dodge Challenger. You know, it, it, that's pretty similar across all the range of options, you know, different models that they offer of this car. First things first, I haven't spent much time underneath these newer Mopars, really Mopars in general, to see like their suspension design, but unlike most cars, they have a multi lower control arm. It's not a single uh, A arm, it's multi-piece. 
and then they've got this external reservoir for the for the uh, strut uh, that I've noticed and it's a super long spindle I mean I know I'm probably you know saying stuff that most Mopar folks notice but the other thing about these brakes that I didn't mention were that they're a two-piece rotor so you know it makes servicing them I assume a lot easier uh, you get those on like a lot of aftermarket brakes like Willwood and Bear so that's really cool that they well they are Brembo but the fact that they came on two-piece from the factory is you know pretty nice uh, looking up at the front underneath the car you have a lot of different areas where they feed air in and right here you have a, a, a dam that comes in and feeds air right here right from here to feed air into the brakes and then you have a couple of you have a heat exchanger I assume right here behind this behind this mesh then there's also some mesh over here but I think there's a reservoir for the supercharger maybe or the the uh, after chiller for when the car you're running on the drag strip so other than that uh, there's really not much different underneath these cars from what I've heard that differentiates it from a 392 or a regular Hellcat and I kicked that cool I was you know reading up on this car and you know what makes this car so strong and be able to hold that 797 horsepower they're 41 spline axles which is insane on my car I have 35 spline axles and I thought okay I'm never gonna break you know an axle shaft in my car I've got a solid rear end housing but I feel like because it's independent and they have axle shafts and it's so much horsepower that they had to go to such a you know big spline so that you didn't just throw these things out every time you try to do a burnout. Most times when you hit when you hit a when you hit the accelerator in a car and it you know you're getting down, most times the car will torque to the passenger side. So you would think that this axle shaft would be thicker or wider than the one that's on this side on the on the driver's side, but it's not. It's reversed. So I don't know if there's something with how the suspension is set up in this car where they try to make it a lot more like of a squat than it, you know, to, than to torque the car one way or the other, but that's one thing that I noticed that that's is interesting on this rear end. You've got a, a, again a multi-link, you know, rear setup because it is independent rear suspension, and you get to the back and you got your traditional, you know, oval style, you know, exhaust tips. So looking at the interior of this car, it isn't anything really over the top from what you see in the regular Hellcat or even a fully option 392. The one thing I do notice is that you have your red gauges, your tachometer and your speedometer. You have this full leather wrapped steering wheel with the perforations in it. it is heated, which is a beautiful thing. You have your infotainment unit, which has, you know, a plethora of apps. You know, you can control your climate with a heated steering wheel, the heated and cooled seats for the passenger too. You have navigation, which isn't on right now. You can connect to your phone. So all kinds of you know normal creature comforts that this car has your launch control button which i haven't utilized yet i probably need to try that at some point i don't know if that's something i should save to go do on a track probably not to do it on the street your srt button that brings up all of your different menu options to change your shift points your ride control on your on your suspension uh you have your traction control button for uh, all, uh traction control on street mode and track mode um of course you have all your your HVAC uh, buttons down here. Uh, the one thing on the interior that, that really shows you that you're in a Hellcat Red Eye is right here on the SRT logo, there is a red, there's a Hellcat logo with the red eye. And that's the only badge that I've seen in the interior that shows that it is a red eye. You look at the seats, you've got the Alicantara center with the leather on the bolsters. You've got the SRT and the Hellcat logo stitched in the inside. Or stitched in the middle i should say uh everything else you've got home link buttons for your garage you've got you know everything you can everything you normally have we're here at caffeine and octane and i can't thank them enough for putting us right here in the featured area behind the ropes giving everybody a first look impression on this car i got this car last monday and i gotta give it back tomorrow so that kind of sucks the week went by way too fast but during this week i got a chance to really you know drive the car put it on the highway drive it around town do burnouts, really see what the car can do, and it hasn't disappointed. Thanks again to the folks at Dodge for loaning me this car, trusting me with it. It was a blast. If you're in the market for a high horsepower muscle car, you're not going wrong with this. 